I'm on the front cover of a DVD of a real movie. How cool is that? coolest thing happened. I woke up and I saw someone tag me or sent me a picture of the new DVD cover for Spirit of the Game. It comes out on DVD on February 7th and I'm on the front cover of a DVD of a real movie. How cool is that? So for those of you who don't know, when I was in Australia in 2015, I was in a movie called Spirit of the Game which is a basketball movie about the Mormon Yankees who are basically a Mormon basketball team that used to tour the world. And when they were in Australia, they taught the Australian team how to play basketball because they have the 1956 Olympics in Melbourne. And so when they were there, they were teaching all the Australian players, the national team, how to play. Anyway, so here's how it all started. When I was in Australia, I was playing for a team in Melbourne. And one of the kids on my team's mum worked as some kind of, in, in, some, in, in the financial sector of the movie business anyway. And she told me they were making a basketball movie in Melbourne. And they had a bunch of actors coming in, most of which had never played basketball before. So they were looking for a coach to come and teach the actors how to look like basketball players. So initially I was brought on board as an advisor to help the players look like basketball players. Uh, and that sounds easy to do, but when a lot of these people had never, no basketball experience at all, not only did I have to teach them how to look like basketball players, but I had to teach them how to look like basketball players from the 1950s. So no dunking, no finger rolls, no spin moves, none of that. So I had to do a lot of research to try and figure out what they would have to look like and run coaching sessions that would help them learn those skills. And uh, thankfully, they got all the actors, all the, all the guys were really, really great guys. So it was cool, it was easy, but it was also a lot of fun. One of the directors asked me if I'd like to be in the movie because I could be on the French team, who was the main team that they play in the movie. So I ended up being cast as this French guy, this tall, mean French guy called Grange. Uh, <laughs> and I ended up being in the movie. And it was a really, really cool experience for me because obviously I don't have any experience of being in a movie or understand any, anything what that world is like. But for like two straight weeks, we were on set and the people that I was working with were so, so cool. Like the, guy, the star of the movie, Aaron Jakobenko, really, really cool guy. Ended up becoming really good friends with him. He's a really nice guy as well as a really talented actor. A couple of days later, I'm sitting having lunch and Kevin Sorbo, Hercules, is on set, he's in the movie too, and he came from America, and he was in the movie, and well, you gotta see it. In fact, I'm trying to explain to you what the movie looks like. How about I show you what it looks like? I'm gonna try and link in a trailer here so you can see the movie that I'm in for yourself. So here you go, check it out. Wow. 
I'm excited to get out and meet some people. Yeah, that'll wear off soon enough. What do you mean? Hello, I'm Elder Condi. Well, at least you got to say hello. I'm not giving up two years of my life just to pass the time. There has to be someone here who wants to listen. I'm not giving up until I find them. Melbourne, at this moment, is in the throes of immense preparations for the Olympic Games. Have you seen the sides of some of the players on other teams? We just have to concentrate on skills and tactics. Didn't I see you playing basketball? Yes. Why don't you come back inside, fellas? Thank you, sir. I have solved all our problems. Okay. Mormons. <laughs> Yes, this is our Olympic squad. We want you to work with us on our skills and drills. So they want to put together a tournament where countries can play you boys and get some match practice before the Olympics. You've got to admit, it's a great opportunity. Think of the doors this could open for us. This is different. This is bigger. This is the Olympic team. Basketball can bring people from all walks of life together. We don't need these guys. Yes, we do, Jim. Color, the legend you are. Are you guys those Mormon Yankees? Yes, sir, we are. They all want to play the great Mormon Yankees. The sportsmanship that you have exhibited to everyone who's seen you play is going to change people's heart. It is an honor and a privilege to have you as my son. This is extraordinary. Yes. This game is going to go down to the wire. I woke up and I saw I was on the front cover of this DVD and it's me dressed in my, wait till you see what I'm wearing. You're gonna laugh because <laughs> my shorts are, to say they're short shorts would be a massive understatement. We're talking 1950s, these things are like, check it out, have a look, have a laugh. I'm number one on the French team. Uh, I, was, I was sad that I missed the premiere of the movie I got an invitation to go to the premiere in Melbourne and there was another premiere in Utah and obviously I was in, I don't know if I was in Germany or England at the time, but either way I wasn't in Australia or America at the time when the movie premiered so I didn't get to go. But some people sent me some snapshots of the movie and told me that I was featured in it a lot so it's really cool. I'm really excited for it to come out on DVD so I can actually finally watch it. I'm just, I'm really, really grateful for the experience. I'm really, really grateful for the opportunity. Just, I'm really grateful that I'm on IMDB as an actor. Which is really funny because <laughs> it's not something that I ever realised I would actually do, but to be in a movie, a real proper movie, to spend all that time on set, to the, all the people in the movie Spirit of the Game, not just the actors, but the directors, the producers, everyone behind the scenes, even to the runners who are picking me up at 5am to take me on set. It was just a crazy experience, but it was so, so cool. And if you're watching this and you were a part of the movie and you know me and we talked, you're part of the reason that I had such a great experience because honestly, it was one of the coolest things I've ever been a part of. So my plea to you is the movie comes out on DVD on the 7th of February. So I don't know when you're watching this, but if it's already past the 7th of February, you can go on Amazon and pre-order it now, or you can buy it worldwide on Amazon. So check it out. Yours truly is on the front cover of the DVD, which is really, really cool. Make sure you check out the movie and then comment below and let me know what you guys thought of the movie. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to see it myself. So I'm interested to hear. And don't just laugh at me because of the shorts I was wearing in the movie. Actually, <laughs> enjoy the movie for what it is because it's a really really cool like uplifting experience and the whole story about it is about a guy in particular whose life changed and how he was able to change the lives of others so it's a really inspiring movie you guys are going to love it i'm sure so check it out and let me know show your support danke schön schönen tag noch ciao
little update on fantastic February. I'm really happy about how it's going. Like in my last vlog, you see it was just a random idea I had in the gym inspired by three different separate events. Uh, and it's taken off. There are people all over the world who have accepted the fantastic February challenge. We have people in England, Germany, Australia, Canada, America. There's a lady in America, a female cop in New York City, who's doing fantastic February every day. So for all those people all over the world who are doing it, who accepted the challenge, you're very cool. You're my favorites. But a couple of things. Um, when I say I want you to post a grateful status on a social media thing, what I don't want is you to say, uh, today I'm grateful for my friends, or today I'm grateful for the weather. Because that's not the feeling of gratitude. And the most important thing about gratitude is to actually feel it. So what I want you to do is say, for instance, right now, I'm grateful it's not raining. So I could do my post and say, today I'm grateful it didn't rain. Or I could really feel the emotions of gratitude and say, I'm so grateful that it's not raining. Because if it was raining right now, we'd be getting wet, you wouldn't be getting this video. I'd be sad, I'd be miserable because it's raining, it'd be cold. And I'm so grateful that it's not raining right now. Like there's a difference between saying, I'm grateful it's not raining and feeling the emotions of gratitude. What I want you to do every time you post is to feel the emotions of gratitude. Because you, it's impossible to feel grateful and miserable or grateful and angry at the same time. Gratitude is one of the greatest feelings in the world and that's why I want you to have it. So, if you are already doing Fantastic February, congratulations, I'm proud of you already, keep it up. If you're not, or if you know people that are not and could maybe get some value from it, make sure you're sharing your posts with them, make sure you tag them in the little pictures I made and let's see if we can get hundreds or thousands of people all over the world doing Fantastic February. So if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button below so that you can get access to all of my videos. As you can see, I'm doing these daily vlogs. I'm also doing other videos where I'm going to try and motivate and inspire you guys. So make sure you subscribe.